all of my family members whom you have seen depicted in this television dramatization either were or are actual living human beings. We were deeply moved to see the book and film of Roots become perceived worldwide as synonymous with family. Before you get to the nations, the races, the creeds, or any of the other circumstances we human beings like to regard as differences between ourselves, we are first many millions of families sharing this earth. After the miracle of life itself, our greatest human common denominator is families. I feel that's why roots touch the universal human pulse. If I seek what's recommended to us by this global response to roots, I find two simple acts which can only help strengthen families. We should interview our family's oldest members. Ask them, please tell us all their members hold about those relatives who lived before us. Often we'll exclaim later, why didn't you tell us this before? And they'll say, nobody ever asked me. After learning all you can from all sources you can, make a written record of your family's history. And next, periodically, we should hold family reunions. Their message is powerful to all who attend them, especially to a family's younger members. What's conveyed to youth is, you belong to a family which obviously cares about itself which takes pride in itself, and which rightly expects you to contribute to your family's reasons for pride. Roots couldn't serve a greater purpose than to increase our awareness as individuals, as societies, as nations, that our first source of strength is our families. And thank you from the family of Kunta Kinte. Thank you from the family of Rick Branch and the 2014 Branch Outlaw Family Reunion. Thank you.